Great Uprising Greetings Greetings Give thanks and praise to the Most High, Creator of Nature Give thanks and praise The Four Elements of Police Fraud 1. An intentional misrepresentation of material fact meaning a statement of fact that is false on purpose and significant enough to matter. That's one of the elements. Second element, knowledge that the misrepresentation or the representation is false. Again, knowledge that the representation is false. the perpetrator must have known of the falsehood. Third element, reliance. Reliance on the fact by the recipient of the information. Meaning the victim either relied on the information or was supposed to rely on it. Four damages. Damage because of the misrepresentation and reliance, either financial damage or some other harm to the victim. Uh, I must make a statement such as this. When you're a criminal out there, with a criminal state of mind, criminal mindset, or criminal intent. The information what I share won't apply to you being a criminal. Once I'm afraid to comprehend that, because when people here we are present information, most of my things are anti or against the police. And we can say this for closure. We can never be against any law enforcers. Or when a police is in the capacity as a law enforcer, then he carry and conduct himself separate and distinct from what is known as a policy enforcer. When you say police out there engage in criminal because them have probable cause or reasonable suspicion to engage these criminals out there, then that is according to law. Now, when you say police pretending to be such when in fact they are policy enforcers then that's where you have to draw the line because you're not going to know the distinction you understand the policy enforcers are usually found in where them call a traffic department. This is when them assert or them allege that you're a criminal when there is no victim and there is no factual crime being committed. This is where you find a distinction with a policy enforcer and a police officer. Uh, the police officer is subjected to the constitutional law while the policy enforces do them own thing under color of law operating on the commercial codes so this is where the distinction is so don't think we're against law enforcers in fact we are law enforcers 
We are no criminal. But a de facto policy enforcer will easily criminalize the man or woman in order to elicit profit or gain. So this is why we will present our information in such a way where it's specific, it's not general. So when you're a criminal, know the information we will share now go apply to you only because you make that conscious decision to engage in criminal activity or criminal conduct. You do that consciously. So you have to stand those kind of responsibility out there. This is why I love the law. Uh, once I am cognizant of the law, then I am humble myself accordingly. And the common law of the land dictates that Parliament shall make no law, nor no organ of the state, shall take no action, including but not limited to legal actions that will abrogate, abridge, or infringes upon the people's fundamental rights and freedom, which is guaranteed by the Constitution as amended by Assent 2011. Clarity. I hope it's crystal clear. So don't think what they are a promote criminal and criminality. No, it's a total opposite. We are a law lawful conduct, lawful behavior. Yeah, man. Anyway, we say misrepresentation. A misrepresentation is a false or misleading statement or a material omission which renders a statement, which renders other statements misleading with intent to deceive like this a misrepresentation is a false statement or misleading statement or a material omission which renders other statements misleading with intent to deceive or the action or offense of giving a false or misleading account of the nature of something she is seeking damages on allegations of misrepresentation. All right. That's just an example. Now, what's the A? Police pretend to enforce a constitutional law when, in fact, the police are enforcing statutory commercial policy or executive color of law, which constitute fraud by the misrepresentation of a material fact. B. The Constitution as amended by Assent 2011 is the common law of the land, making all other laws that are contrary to it void or unenforceable. The Police Service Commission and the Police Service, the Public Service Authority, are cognizant or have knowledge of this material fact which constitute intent by said police misrepresentation by false pretense. C. Police that fail to properly identify themselves, i.e. present their credential on the record for inspection, are in breach of the very constitutional law that gives the authority to operate, making the police a lawbreaker and an outlaw in office d if something is intentional it does not happen by accident or mistake it is purposely and knowingly done anything that is a material fact represents the truth and is significant enough to matter as the victim of this fraud I relied on the intent of the police to be lawful in their conduct by following 
and by following the misrepresented order, the issue that resulted in the injury and damage suffered. Or, let me re re reread that. Andrew Holness start live video. We're not no interest in that. I relied on the intent of the police to be lawful in their conduct by following the misrepresented order they issued that resulted in the injury and damage I suffered. Yeah. The damage that result from this fraud is financial, psychological, reputational harm and other consequences too numerous to mention. E. A legal instrument or document duly signed and sealed represents the verification of a certificate of fact. When a court allows the police to place an uncertified witness statement upon the court, for the record, it shows intent and complicity to initiate a fraudulent action. F. Acts required by law to be done admits no license or qualification. Again, acts required by law to be done admits of no license or qualification. The act of the law does no one an injury. An act does not make a person guilty unless the intention is also guilty. A court action must never be given to the police who have received no injury or damages. G. A hidden ambiguity or uncertainty of the words is supplied by the verification for whatever ambiguity arises concerned the deed itself is removed by the ver verification of the deed so let us put together some information as usual you know to present and share out the with our common people again as i said self-taught you know what i mean this is dealing with law not legal process we are talking about law we are talking about principle and authority we are talking about maxims yeah man not just general rules or regulations guys as law not those color of law so in an effort you know to bring clarity we choose to continue sharing our information accordingly yeah man so again we do give thanks for the opportunity we do give thanks. At least for the ones that out there we can grasp the information being shared. God, these kind of information fly over people's head easily. Yeah, man, car member. I know, nothing not really I give it, nothing not really I sell, not, you know, we don't have no fanciness, no, no, fandangles are just truth according to us, our philosophical reasoning, our opinion from our perspective, grassroots, yeah, that's our fine truth, and we keep it simple. Again, complete gratitude out there. The brave may fall but never yield. We are so bold and brave, firm and strong. This one here is kind of short and sweet. The four elements of police fraud. 
Yeah, just go over it a few times and we are express it because the constitution is the law and the public authority is aware of the constitution. The police service commission is aware of that constitution. Why? Because the constitution create that construct. Without the constitution, then not exist. So, them can't say it's a mistake. Them can't say they didn't know what their agents are doing out there. And when the court allow a witness statement that is uncertified by a police officer, it proves intent and complicity on behalf of the very court. So how will you ever get any justice there? Is there a judge that will be fair, honest, and impartial? I haven't experienced it yet in this court, and I've came across two judges. One, what's her name? Miss Looney. And the very first judge disqualify her search to even present her name or anything like that. And Miss Looney, with all due respect, choose to disqualify herself. So I'm quite sure whenever there's another court case, there'll be a brand new judge. This is how these people play games. Denying true justice, which is repulsive, odious. The denial of justice is odious. This is why, you know, a lot of people find themselves in a prison for victimless crimes. Victimless crimes. The police come and present themselves as the victim, which is a fraud. God, the police can't demonstrate no kind of injury, no kind of damage, no kind of harm, no kind of wrong being done to that man who is presenting themselves with a witness statement. And because no one chose to challenge these unlawful arenas, then it go, you know, unpunished. It does continue. It remain extant. And absolutely no attorney is going to aid you in correcting these things. You won't get one. I haven't seen one or meet one. You only can rely on some honest true justices or at least some honest man and woman working as judges because i know they are there i've experienced a few of those but for the most part it's like business as usual until you challenge these people just like i chose to challenge the jurisdiction of this court challenge your authority challenge your control you're a bully you're a tyrant and your arbitrariness is obvious when a police can just choose to pull you over and kidnap you openly and by force and arms and steal your property for his friend to tow it so it's all money making business and then tie you up in legal process in their court system it's their strategy. So this is my advocacy. Freedom, not about criminality. We have good police out there. We have put down good work out there. We are deal with the criminality that is out there. We don't need no extra bull crap from policy enforcers fleecing the people, bullying the people, misleading the people, misrepresenting their office, which constitute fraud. So I hope we bring some clarity with our grassroots philosophy from our perspective 
with all due respect out there. With all due respect out there. And remember, when you choose to engage in a criminality, the consequence is yours. Because you make a conscious choice to engage in a commercial activity, which is what criminality is. Yeah, man, that's why, you know, we don't have no interest in being criminal. We rather be free. And we choose to be free. Yeah, man. So again, salute. An absolute gratitude, complete gratitude to the subscribers who choose to subscribe. And the utmost respect to the people who choose to leave a comment. Guys, only one or two. You get me? I'm quite sure you two not necessarily have to restrict those areas. So for the few people, when I mind a comment, it's like me I get for known about art now. We say gratitude, cause when I mind it, uh, people don't normally play games over this side. So when I mind the comment, cause we can learn from each other. So we give thanks for it. And we give thanks for every single one of our subscribers. All right, we do give thanks. Complete gratitude, free people. Stay bold and brave out there. Stay firm and strong. Just, just choose correctness, man. Just choose righteousness, man. Just choose goodness. I must say personally, it is a joy for I. When I get to alleviate the issues where, you know, irritate I, you know, conscience. Yeah, man. So when you find, sir, you're in incur certain unnecessary debt and you clear it then you can say give thanks and you clear it in such a way where a recipient has a who for money that so much money and you smile and say boy gratitude it's yours all yours so that's the thing that when you can make amends when you can fix it up when you can grill it up and when you can move forward yeah man in a short in a righteousness yeah man by your own choice guys a free will exercise so again salute out there i forgot make a tape on top about a little bit of the you know israel israelite judah you know what i mean because i know mean, most of them say a two kingdom did round there so when everybody are ready and said so I'm an Israelite and everybody can say, you know, when I'm in a ill, you know, the Eudite, yeah man, from Euda. Yeah, guys, I U B A H. Remember we now use a Y and we now use a J. We are keep it ancient and keep it basic and keep it as you would have said, Gula. Keep it Gulaya, keep it Geechee, keep it Patwa. Yeah. Salute. To we'll get it, we we'll get it. Salute. As we go along, we we'll share it. Salute. Remember me always I talk about the Hebrew tongue, the Hebrew language, you know? The peculiar Hebrew. And we know say our thing long before. The demonic people them chose for usurp our thing long before them chose for even find interest. But a lot of other people, after them going to exile and come out, them feel like them is so, you know, when a be a pagan practices them come forward with. Abraham never followed none of those paganic practice when he chose to hold firm to one supreme power. It never required no kind of sacrifice more than the tests when get. So when ones and ones get caught up in all of the craziness, realize that this is why 
the place is like this. Uh, we are follow other people thing. We you know totally move away from our great spirit, from our true power. Yeah, man, which is the creator of nature, and that creator create even the Anunnaki and all of these alien beings. That me I say. So we go beyond the firmament. Look past them the way I exist within such. Again, levels to it, yeah, people. Step by step. Step by step. Gratitude. Complete gratitude.